Tala Moana Exiles, my name is Dobsch and today I would like to show you how to live start with a custom crit assassin or generally called Hawk uh, assassin. Also this is a way that I plan on league starting next league, the Crucible one with uh, on 321 patch. And you can check it out on my Twitch channel also on uh, twitch.com slash the name is the same as this YouTube channel. Uh, I will uh, show you some uh, tips and tricks, I will show you how I do the act as well and generally speaking i speak polish on stream however if you will come then i will just swap for you to english so do not hesitate to come before we start uh, have a look at this uh, little showcase that uh, i made straight after act so it's like the first uh, five maps let's say this is how it looks I hope you liked the showcase. Unfortunately, before we start the build guide, we need to start with a couple of disclaimers. Uh, first of all, it's not a easy league, league starter. Uh, it will need some swaps of equipment around level 40 uh, and we will need a couple of pieces to uh, in the puzzle uh, to, to make everything work. Uh, however, there's a huge advantage on playing this build uh, very early. Uh, you uh, can start understanding what this build needs to be stronger uh, and you will need uh, you will learn it on the go and also will teach you how to manage attack rate cooldown rate uh, trigger rate uh, all of this stuff uh, you can have a look uh, at everything in the pob i will show you everything uh, and also uh, i recommend you during the act at least use the a gem swap uh, so for the common clearing of the maps i recommend you ice nova obviously however if you uh, know that you will encounter some stronger boss like uh, like the end act uh, bosses like malachi dominus these are the stronger bosses the ones that have the most hp i recommend you to swap into freezing pools you will not need the clear speed from ice nova However, the freezing pools have around 40% more damage with these early setups with heralds. So it will help you so much. You will freeze much more and uh, just the damage itself speaks for itself. So I really recommend you to make the gem swap. And also just at the end, do not follow this build blindly. If you see that you that you have something that is not working and you know how to solve it, but the build guide doesn't say it. Just do what you feel is better, yeah? Um, also, consider this POB and what I will say during this video as a baseline on how to level with it and try to learn 
uh, how to push this build further on on your own like variations that you would like uh, so you can start with this build uh, as i showed you and in early maps you can farm uh, some money uh, some currency uh, make it even stronger so you can do red maps uh, do red maps with it and then you can uh, swap into something like for example low life assassin or even better low life occultist uh, these are much better builds they are uh, stronger in every way they are tankier they have more damage and they are smoother like faster generally speaking so yeah as we have this behind let's start with the pub so uh, firstly i recommend you to check the notes uh, read them with uh, understanding you can see uh, here like a short uh, notes on how to level up uh, up to level 38 and later uh, then you have the requirements on what you need these this is like a shopping list you need to solve all of these points plus i even oh no it is written here yeah so i recommend you to have all of these and then swap when you have all of these it is good also i have uh, forgot to mention that you obviously need a four link for the setup so uh, this is a shopping list uh, about auras during act at the end of the act you can uh, already swap the weaker herald which is the herald of thunder to the 50 percent aura you could go for the hatred if you really like having more damage however i recommend you to change to determination since uh, molten shell even though it was uh, it was nerfed it's still our go-to uh, guard skill in this build at least it's perfectly good uh, so use determination use the granite flask molten shell with cast when damage taken setup and you will be much tankier during mapping especially that this is a um, mapping build uh, so you won't need to fight with some very very strong uh, foes so it will be fine uh, try to collect during leveling as many alteration orbs and augmentations i would say that even when you have a full equipment just go to the city with the portal scroll sell all of the stuff try to obviously uh, identify them first go back and still collect items like when you have a lot of rare items especially um you will need as i counted around uh, 30 alterations orbs on average maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less if you are lucky but uh, yeah you will need quite a lot uh, coming back to the uh, item list uh, there are one two three items uh, that i would recommend you crafting two are a baseline baseline and you need them so clothes uh, which are shark tooth clothes and uh, you can get them from item uh, level seven so from uh, the first act and the lower the item level the better for us uh, try to get two of them uh, below item level 10 because it will be the cheapest uh, to uh, alter spam however if you have uh, item level uh, item level up to around 30 uh, you will spend on average around 20 alteration orbs which is twice as much but still it's manageable if you don't hit them uh, before level 38 just postpone the swap because these are very important uh, and the last uh, thing that you will craft is basically enduring mana flask theoretically you will not need it because of the new mastery uh, of clothes and that gives us a huge mana regeneration uh, like 25 mana per enemy hit so basically 12.5 mana uh, per enemy hit uh, every time is a lot uh, as you can have a look here it gives us around 80 mana per second 
We have also some uh, baseline uh, mana regeneration, so theoretically we will not need any help. <clears throat> but still, just to make sure, you will also later on level up the uh, the skills, so uh, they will cost a little bit more, so maybe better have it. Uh, then, um, you can find some easy upgrades, like Tassalios, for example, and... Um, maybe some uh, clothes uh, when you drop a chaos orb you can also try to buy like barracks uh, grip or wh whatever it is, something like this uh, or which will be uh, more futuristic let's say uh, for a future uh, purchase i would recommend you to go for reduced or for reduced mana cost of skill gems a uh, jewel uh five percent preferably as it says here uh and uh, these at the very beginning will be around like one c if you go just for this mod you can try to find some x uh, increased uh, spell damage or increased damage with core skills or something like this uh, however this node is uh, the most important it will make it so much easier with mana and uh, you will not have to worry about anything and uh, every time you go to the next uh, tab, increase the level so we can have a look if the uh, hit rate and crit chance is good. If not, then most likely you um, forgot about something. You have a couple of trees uh, I prepared. First one for leveling. I have tried to do it in the way that you have to regret uh, or like uh, respect as little as possible. So you will have a look uh, that actually we respect some, but you definitely can farm all of this uh, from the main quest. So you don't even need to go for the side quests. So uh, you uh, start like this when you want to have a cock uh, build. Uh, you go for the crit chance nodes here and here uh, for close. And with this you are... Uh, you will have a whooping 94% uh, crit chance with Diamond Flask, of course. Uh, without it, you will have around 83. And also, if you will manage, you can try to craft also, to alter spam, the critical strike chance on the uh, Diamond Flask, for example, on, on any flask, to be honest. Uh, I have managed on uh, one uh, run and it got me to 97% uh, more or less. It was something like this. Um, okay, so next uh, you have... Uh, uh, so also remember about the, the lab. You have a lab before swapping. Then you have a second lab uh, at level around 55. It will be something like Act uh, 7, I believe, uh, or 8, I think, something like this. Uh, go for uh, the second lab first before uh, respecting these nodes here, uh, because then you will struggle a little bit. Uh, if you won't have it, uh, I can even uh, show it to you. Oh, actually, it's. It's almost the same, uh, but uh, still, I recommend you to to have this before you respect. And uh, and yeah, you go for more damage basically. Damage, some damage, life, and at level seventy seven, uh, you go for the sovereignty, uh, and this is the point basically where you can just. Uh, throw in some 50% aura, like Determination, for example. And uh, you will have still plenty of mana to work on. Um, about items, here you have a couple of tabs as well. So you have mandatory items, uh, you will have early maps. I mean, it's not how you want to level on early maps, obviously. However, I will show you uh, like very simple a close. Uh, you can make them uh, by, for example, um, 
using the essences of vow or you can use essence of vow and uh, if you have an empty prefix you can uh, because uh, later on as you can see these do not have crit chance yeah uh, you will have so much crit chance that you will not need it anymore on close you can just throw in uh, one essence of vow if you have an empty uh, prefix you just go for like cold damage to spells if you have empty suffix you can go for crit multi it's up to you just do not uh, increase any any uh, attack speed uh, because later on you what i would recommend you to do uh, is uh, when you have uh, cost free you can put in there uh, something like for example cold snap or instead use a val cold snap and you will uh, generate frenzy charges which will give you almost perfect free attack rate uh, for uh, no cooldown recovery build okay so there is me from the future i forgot to show you uh, how the trigger rates uh, work in uh, pub uh, so basically when you have your uh, custom create setup uh, you go to cyclone uh, sorry you go to the spell that you're using with and you can have a look uh, here on attack and cast rate you will see everything uh, first of all the first uh, line shows you how many times maximum without any cooldown recovery you can cast uh, for uh, a second uh, every second yeah so when you uh, have your trigger rate which is attack speed basically how many attack because we have 100% to crit if your attack speed will be over it at some point you will overflow your crit uh, strikes and which means your trigger rate and it will literally uh, decrease your damage and i can even show it to you so for example uh, here i can uh, give you something like this blood rage or which gives us uh, eight percent uh, attack speed we can increase it and as it increases our damage for now is increasing because uh, let's uh, give some more uh, crit chance uh, so uh, um, whenever i will increase the level of blood of blood rage which increases our attack speed as long as the attack rate will be not over 6.06 it will increase our full dps and uh, you can have a look yeah it's 6.04 and it was uh, lower before and now when i increase it got lowered because we overflow the trigger rate so general rule is that you never want to make your attack speed higher than this number around here so this number here in the cyclone cannot be higher than this so yeah i hope you will like it and uh, once again uh, you can uh, visit me on uh, on the on the twitch when i will be league starting and uh, thank you leave a subscription uh, sub uh, subscribe the the channel if you like and uh, comment in the and the feedback i would really appreciate it and uh, yeah see you on the league start